Hey guys, it's Dom from mobiledom.co.uk and today I've got a review of the Ubuntu Experience. Now this, yeah, look at that. Now for those of you who, oh, bit of a glitch there. Those of you who don't know what this is, Ubuntu showed off their mobile phone OS uh, a couple uh, months ago, I think it was late December. And then they re-showed it in January. And it is brilliant. It's all based around gestures, and it's being released to the Galaxy Nexus later this month. But um, no such luck for anyone else. Now this developer on the Play Store, whose name I can't remember, so I'm going to come in here quickly and we can see together. His name is... F. Barroso Apps. F. Barroso? I don't know. Um, F. B. A. R. B. A. W. R. O. S. O. Apps. So. And he's got a, there's a free version and a paid version. Uh, basically, the free version gives you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think it gives you nine. It's like as much as one screen. And then obviously the paid version, which I've got, lets you have as many as you want and you can scroll it. Uh, also, you get what's called unlimited preferences. So if I go into, so you obviously turn it on here. Uh, you can put the application list in. So these are all the applications I've got set up. Obviously, because I've got the paid version, I can do anything else. Like if I wanted, I could add Amazon in. So by the bottom, I've got Amazon. So if I scroll back here and go right down to the bottom, there's Amazon. Or there's actually Home. There's Amazon. And that, but that Home button is quite important. It actually totally negates having the actual Home button here. So say I was in, oops, say I was in Franco Kernel, then I went to Facebook, and then I went to Google Talk. And so as soon as I want to go home, oops, now it doesn't want to work, scrub it and it goes back home. And if you're doing it fast, it's like, yeah, yeah, and it, look how many apps that's opened up and it's, it's so effortlessly and it is actually really good. And it's, so, it's your, it's, they're your favourite apps, so you can put as many as you want here. I just put the apps I use a lot, so Google Talker, Messaging, FML, Franco Kernel Updater, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, or Carbon for Twitter. Uh, the camera, which is some, for some reason showing me the gallery icon, Google Plus, and then Chrome. So I like, and I actually opened up YouTube there. Now I really like this. It is actually awesome. I, I know it sounds like a stupid thing to say, like that's not a reason to buy something. But um, let me just remove that because I don't want it there. Uh, yeah, like I said they, that you can add it, and then obviously if you tap on these, you can reorganize things. So I wanted Chrome down there because I wanted to. Um, next is sidebar preferences. So, pardon me. You can uh, have the you can choose to have the home button, or one sec, eh. or you can choose to get rid of it. I put like I, said, I personally like having it there, so I'm going to turn it back on. Now, sensibility level. I'm just guessing. See, I don't actually know this. Uh, I'm guessing it's like how responsive it is to. Uh, edge swipes to make sure you don't accidentally so I'm guessing if I just yeah look weak means almost any time I swipe in from the edge it's going to try and do it I should tell you I've got a screen protector on so that the actual edges of the screen are like a lip and I keep taking my finger off uh, here it is uh, yeah I'll do that uh, bar opacity if I turn it all the way down you can see the bar becomes uh, see-through transparent turn it all the way up it's got a background on it. I like it about halfway. Uh, bar density, you can change the size of the app, so you can have them super tiny, or you can have them stupidly large. I quite like them small. Le there's less scrolling. Um, notifications, you can have, uh, this is quite annoying, you can have a status bar notification all the time, so that's there. I don't like that. It's there's always something clogging up my notification. Or you can have a trans. Well, uh, yeah, sure. It's basically just saying if you disable that, the system will accidentally close it because it doesn't think it's open. You can have a trans uh, transparent one, which means it's there but it doesn't always show up. So you might do that. Uh, and left margin, top left detection, bottom left detection. So. so there we go. That's the preferences. Obviously, you can you can theme as well. So you can have different ones. I, I think I've got 
I quite like this one actually, I'll put this one. So now you change it, so as before I had like a white background, obviously this one isn't anymore. That oh, was. There we go. Obviously you can get premium and you can rate it. Obviously I've, I've got the premium. I really like it. Uh, like I said, this is £2.46 for the paid version, which I, I, I do recommend going for the paid version because you can re you can resize things and you can just have as many apps as you want. So if, if you don't want all that, that's fine. Then just get the free version. You, the free version is not a trial. You can use it for, a head for as long as you want. But I'm just saying, it looks awesome. Yeah, and it's not, it doesn't look awesome, but it is awesome. It makes me use my phone a lot more. Now that I can literally just like swipe from the side, check Twitter, while, while that's loading, go to FML, check something, go to YouTube, whatever. And after all, you, you thought I'd get a bit of muscle memory, you just know where everything is. So, so it makes me use my phone a lot more. Uh, app switching is so much quicker. If those are the apps you always go in, like, uh, I'm always in FML, I'm always in Google Talk, and I'm usually always in Carbon for Twitter. So, it makes me switch apps a hell of a lot faster. So, the last few things, it looks cool, it feels cool. You, you just feel cooler when you're just swiping in and doing stuff. It, like, I cannot wait for Ubuntu Phone OS. Uh, and the last thing is, it's better without a case. The Nexus 4 does this really well if you haven't got a screen protector on as well because of the curved glass, you like roll your finger in from the edge. Like I said, it doesn't always work. But, if you put it in right from the edge, you can get it there. Obviously, if you just, it really is like if you peek in right from the edge, it is there. If you've got a case on, obviously, it's harder to get to the edge of the screen, therefore you're less likely to activate it. Alright guys, this is, like I said, this has been the Ubuntu experience by uh, F. Barroso Apps. Uh, it, there's a free version and a paid version, £2.46. I absolutely love this. I found it on the Verge forums actually, which is a great, strange place to actually find this. I wouldn't, rec I wouldn't usually think to get app rec recommendations there. But um, there you go. Uh, like I said, I, I paid for the premium version and I will happily pay again. So. If you want to get me on the website, the website is www.mobile-dom.co.uk You can get me on Twitter, which is twitter.com forward slash mobile underscore dom You can circle me on Google+, which is gplus.to forward slash Domenico Lamberti And if you want a consultation for a phone or tablet, I can give you one of those And the email address is domenico at mobile-dom.co.uk Until next time guys, toodle pip We'll